Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Did she just like, wait, what? Where did that book come from? <laughs> Paimon's like, did I just see that shit? Well, since you're an Adeptus, Granny, the person you asked for help, they must be an Adeptus too, right? Hmm, yes. I suppose she does count as an Adeptus. Oh, then, then she's probably a thousand years old. She counts? Is it gone you? Adepti in Liyue Harbor. We seem to bump into them all the time. It feels like even when you go out to eat, you could be sitting next to an Adeptus and never even know it. True. <laughs> Maybe so. Who can say? A fair few of my old friends are rather fond of mundane mortal life after all Zhongli. i'm back granny wait yan fei oh i don't believe we've met canonically no ah allow me to do the honors this child here is yen fei she's oh. the one helping run some errands for me oh my gosh she's gonna bore me to tears with her lawyer talk yeah she i guess she's the housing npc is she... Oh my god, is she a... She's an estate agent, isn't she? Before finally defeating an ancient god together with Granny and her associates, and subsequently being cleared of any and all suspicion by the Chising. Ah, <sighs> what a shame. By the way, where were you when Liyue Harbor was under attack? A shame that we didn't meet sooner. Yeah, a shame. Allow me to introduce myself once more. I'm Yenfei, a legal advisor. Got a legal problem? You can come right to me. Oh, yes. Here's my business card. But Smaragdus Jadeite is really rather essential. Yenfei, are you sure you can't find some other way? Hmm. Hold on a moment. Let me have a look. Did she just like... Wait, what? Where did that book come from? <laughs> Paimon's like... Did I just see that shit? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really thick book. What kind of things do you write in there? Oh, that's what you're wondering about? Or, or, Snezhnaya. Ah, found him. Okay. Crossel, a Snezhnayan merchant who once came to me with some legal queries on certain articles in the legal codices. He mentioned that he was considering acquiring some Smaragdus Jadeite to make hairpins and wanted to know if there were any legal ramifications that he should be aware of. Said he was planning to sell them in Snezhnaya. So, I guess I'll go look for him. With any luck, he'll have gotten his hands on some Smaragdus Jadeite or might have an idea of where we can find some. She could have grabbed it from her hips, but no, she made it appear in thin air. All right, we'll come with you. Oh, you want to join me? I suppose that's no problem, but it's best if you just stand by and watch. If you try to get involved, you'll only risk placing yourself in legal jeopardy. Yeah, sure, I like watching. Wow, an Adeptus imploring us to avoid incurring legal liability. Well, that's a first for sure. Hello, Mr. Crossel. How's business been? Oh, good, very good. All thanks to your advice, Miss Yanfei. What brings you here today? Wait a second! That's um that uh, his, um um his uh uh pro Z D. His real name is Sung Wan. That's Sung Wan. Oh, that's amazing. That's great. <laughs> and out of all the voices that he can do, he has a very good range. By the way, he has an amazing set of voices. But he's using his normal voice. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I'll pay the compensation as per our contract. Every last Mora. Mora? <laughs> Do you have any idea what I had to go through to get my hands on that Smaragdus Jadeite? I, uh oh. I just don't. <laughs> Forget it. Talking won't bring them back. Since Miss Yanfei is here, I suppose we can just have her estimate the amount that needs to be paid. No problem. But before I can give an official estimate, I'll need to do a little market research. Ah, yes. And if I may just confirm again, 
God, I can't believe this quest is happening. We're really going into like a legal marketing, you know, sort of story here. It was in fact genuine Smaragdus Jedi inlaid into the hairpins, correct? Of course. Genuine article guaranteed or I pay back ten times the value. All right, understood. I'll conduct some market research, and once I'm back, I'll provide an official assessment of the sum owed by Mr. Chow in compensation. Hmm, now that is strange. I noticed earlier that there were elemental traces in Mr. Crossell's vicinity. If I have deduced correctly, he may still have the Smaragdus Jedi in his possession. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, we should go confront him right now and expose his dirty scam right to his face! Sung Wan was, uh, lying to us? No. No, I trust him. Absolutely not. If we were to confront him now, there's no way he would admit to it. Well then, since you're so experienced in dealing with problems like this, perhaps you could help me, Miss Yunfei. Oh, that won't be a problem. But first, Mr. Chow, can I ask you to please sign this contract? Huh? Does there have to be a contract for everything? I mean, can't even keep track. <laughs> Paimon's just sick of it. Like, I don't want to be in this city anymore. Why are there so many contracts? <laughs> if I had one Mora for every time I hear the word contract. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Right. But for me to investigate any further, I require a written contract. Any work commissioned but not bound by a contract cannot be relied upon. I understand. Then I will be glad to place this matter into your capable hands if you will take it, Miss Yunfei. No problem. Just sign here, and I'll sign too. Okay. Now write your address here, and then sign on this page as well. <laughs> And I'll also need your signatures on pages five, seven, and on the very last page. Finally, if you could just use this ink pad to make a handprint over here. <laughs> Paimon, I know. I know, Paimon. Same. <sighs> this contract has so many pages. Paimon's all out of brain juice again. Same. The idea of someone abusing the law to their advantage, I won't stand for it. Said the lawyer. How come Jicho was able to tell what it was just by looking at the <laughs> words? That's pretty awesome. Betrayal. So you helped them make sense of the law. But didn't you say that it's hard to understand and impossible to finish? Yes, well, that's no obstacle, because I've memorized all the legal codices. You memorized them? <laughs> of course she did. You sound surprised. Knowing the law inside out is a legal advisor's bread and butter, you know? Is this how adept I become so... <laughs> I hate this. Is this how adept I become so adept at everything? has nothing to do with being an adeptus. I just like reading things. <laughs> Funny joke. Nothing you need to worry about. Just a minor issue. I'll return your document as soon as I'm done with it. Thanks again. Why is everyone's first reaction always to assume someone or something is in trouble? <laughs> this is a lot of trouble here. We just need to make one last trip. Let's go to Boo Boo Pharmacy to speak with Dr. Baiju. Boo Boo Pharmacy. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a great name for a pharmacy. <laughs> a pharmacy for children? Anyway, bye, Zoom. The weirdo with the snake around his neck? What do you want to speak to him for? I need to go to the Boo Boo Pharmacy because I have a Boo Boo. Thank you for penning us that document. I'll make sure to compensate you in due course. You're too kind. Take care now. That Baiju guy.
guy is as weird as ever. Don't say that in front of him. Wait until we leave the area, Paima. That's rude. for something back there. Well, we have the evidence we need. Let's go find Mr. Cross. Okay, back to Sung Wan. We're about to confront him. Rejoice in the glory of combat! In the glory of legal combat! Yeah, we're, we're not gonna beat him up. Ahem, <clears throat> according to the stipulations of the contract. Mr. Crossel, you must pay Mr. Chow ten times the original transaction price in Mora. Sure, wait, what? M me pay her? Surely there's been some kind of mistake, Miss Yanfei. Not at all. According to my investigations and the material evidence that we've gathered, the substance claimed to be Smaragdus Jadeite that was inlaid within the Smaragdus Jadeite twin phoenix pins that you rented out to Mr. Chow was, in fact, Smaragdus Nephrite. Hmm? Now, right. Oh, the yeah, that's right. The states very clearly that 10 <laughs> times the price shall be paid should the article not be genuine. All the evidence shown supports my story. Well, hang on a moment now, because I do recall one final piece of evidence that we haven't revealed yet. I like that smug face. I like that zoom into her smug face. Traveler, would you do the honors? This shall serve as decisive proof of our case. What am I? Your servant now? All right, Boo Boo Pharmacy. What, what's this? Sustained contact with Smaragdus Jadeite over a prolonged period will, in less serious cases, cause a mild malady, while in serious cases, the patient may suffer a dramatic change of personality and fall seriously ill. Mr. Crossel, were you aware of these peculiar properties of Smaragdus Jadeite? She loves her job. You, you can see it in her face. <laughs> I... I had no idea. No idea, you say? Hmm, I had guessed as much. But for you to have rented out such a dangerous item... I'm afraid that this falls outside the scope of my work, but within that of the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. 80% of this is flying over my head. Don't worry, Mr. Crossel. I will make sure that all the evidence presented here will be handed over to the Ministry. Yeah, I, I just hear blah 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 nerd talk, blah 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 lawyer talk, blah 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 legal this, blah 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 contracts that. I trust that you'll give them your full cooperation in their investigations. What? Wait, wait! I... I knew. <laughs> oh, so you knew? Drop oh. it! But if you knew of Smaragdus Jadeite's dangerous properties beforehand, why would you... I wasn't dancing, shut up! You do understand, Mr. Crossel, that this means that you will have to pay Mr. Chow ten times the original price in Mora? Mr. Crossel, your answer, please. My client and I are waiting. I... 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 Yampi is seriously intimidating right now. It's like she's a different person. No, she seems like the same to me. Again, that's legal consultancy for you. I admit it. I confess. The ore I had in laid on those hairpins was... was Smaragdus Nephrite. As for me, according to my contract with Mr. Chow, 20% of that sum will go to me. 20? 20%? That's as much as I spent on that Smaragdus Jadeite! Damn! Um, there's no need. It's fine. You don't have to pay me that much, Mora. But the money! Even if the Smaragdus Jadeite on those hairpins was fake, I still bear responsibility for losing them. You get money! Legally or not, I think I owe some compensation for that. <laughs> Shut your mouth, you get money! Uh, Ms. Jichou, you... However, Mr. Crossel, since you have no use for that chunk of Smaragdus Jadeite, why don't you give it to me instead? I'll consider us even. Miss Yunfei, I'll turn this Smaragdus Jadeite over to you. I trust that it will suffice as remuneration? Well, um, that's not quite how the rules say this should go. Glittering well, gold, uh, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. <laughs> I just had a mental image of Yanfei turning around, you know, facing towards the lady over here, and then suddenly the Darkest Dungeon narrator is in her head and going like, 
Get that money. Get that money. <laughs> Thanks so much for your help this time, Miss Yunfei. Now, if I may confirm this again, Mr. Chow, have you and Mr. Crossel come to an understanding? Hmm? Well, yes, I believe we have. Well then, that's good. Mr. Crossel, it seems that my client has no further claims against you. <laughs> that face, though. Usually when someone tells us they've lost something, we end up searching all over the place for it. But this time, you managed to solve the problem with just a big stack of documents. The power of lawyerism. <laughs> Even though the solution didn't involve actually finding the hairpins. The right solution depends on your perspective on the problem. The objective of my client, Mr. Chow, was to reduce her liability to pay compensation. So, rather than looking high and low for some hairpins, proving that the rented item was nowhere near worth what the vendor had claimed it to be was the more efficient solution. Can't say I've ever met an adeptus like you before. True. An adeptus. Speaking of, you took part in that battle, didn't you? Again, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna ask this question. Where were you, Yanfei, during that battle? Liuai Harbor is now a city ruled by humans. The title of Adeptus means precious little to me compared to my job as a legal advisor. In any case, don't you think that the Liuai Harbor of today needs legal consultancy far more than it needs adeptal powers? Well, if we're all set, Granny, I'll get going now. Got a ton of clients waiting for me back at the office. Oh, you. All right, then. Go see to your business. Granny should be able to handle the rest. I'm off, then. Bye! Oh, yes, Traveler. Make sure you don't lose the business card I gave you. Hmm? I've been looking into the laws of other nations as well. If you should ever bump into any trouble with the law, come find me directly. Regulars get discounts, too. <laughs> any trouble with the law? What about, like, out in the wilds? Calm down, child. Are you leaving or are you not? If you have no wish to leave, perhaps you'd like to help me clean my teapot. Mm. No, no, this is good. I have a lawyer, f uh, a lawyer friend now. That's great. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. 